political analyst Janiri Amir said past UMNO leaders had more gumption to fight their enemies, regardless of who they were, as compared to today's UMNO, which is a mere shadow of its former self, weak and afraid, despite the size of its membership and its strong grassroots support. He was commenting on the refusal of UMNO leaders to leave their posts as ministers and deputy ministers, despite an UMNO General Assembly resolution against working with PPBM in the next election. When asked about PASA's decision to strengthen its collaboration with PPBM in Brikata Nacional, raising questions about its pact with UMNO in Muafaka Nacional, he replied, Now PAS has made it clear it is with PPBM. UMNO is clearly on its own. So just face it, pull the trigger, leave the government, and prepare for elections. Janiri, a fellow with the National Council of Professors, alleged that the personal agendas of UMNO leaders were keeping the party from moving forward. If the leaders are strong, they would not be afraid to quit the government. UMNO would not be afraid to have party elections. Oh E. Sun, a fellow at the Singapore Institute of International Affairs, however, said the government, which is ruling under an emergency, would continue to function even if UMNO were to pull the trigger. In the meantime, UMNO loses its government machinery and public resources, which are essential for elections. O oh also described PASA's decision to side with PPBM as convenient and opportunistic. PPBM is desperate to seek a partnership that could boost its appeal among the Malays, while PASA is willing to work with any party that it perceives to be conducive in advancing its long-term theocratic agenda.